Early experience in Vietnam persuaded the U.S. Army that the UH-1 needed an escort. And here, Bell stepped in with the company-funded Model 209 gunship development of the Huey. The new helicopter retained the dynamic system of the successful UH-1B and C models, but married these to an exceptionally slim fuselage that seated just two crew members in tandem, with the weapon operator below and forward of the pilot for the best possible fields of vision. The Huey Cobra was rushed into production and service, and the helicopters were delivered to Vietnam on small transports for local assembly and rapid delivery to operational units. This AH-1G Huey Cobra also pioneered a new concept of armament with a turret under the chin controlled by the weapon operator and four hard points under the stub wings for gun pods and rocket launchers controlled by either crew member. The Huey Cobra was designed to escort troop carrying UH-1s and then to use its superior speed for a quick dash to the landing zone. Here, the ground defenses could be softened up with a mixture of 7.62 millimeter minigun and 2.75 inch rocket fire just before the troop carriers arrived. The Huey Cobra proved itself more survivable than the basic troop carrier, for its combination of performance and small size offered the communist forces a minimal target. The AH-1 was thus one of the major U.S. successes of the Vietnam War, and the type has remained in service since that time, successive marks adding new features and increasing performance. The Huey Cobra's role was fully defined in Vietnam, and once the troop carriers had left the scene, the Huey Cobras remained on station to provide friendly forces with all the close support they needed. The support could be called in as required by the ground force commander and delivered both quickly and with great accuracy. By using established technology, the Huey Cobra is a simply maintained helicopter. This factor is augmented by a number of easy access features so that field maintenance is a simple process. Greater engine power has also been provided over the years, allowing the Huey Cobra to carry larger loads of an increasing assortment of weapon types without degradation of performance. The basic airframe has also been developed into a powerful twin-engine multi-role gunship for the Marine Corps. And as the current AH-1S Huey Cobra close support and anti-tank helicopter for the Army. Over the years, the armament fit has been greatly improved. The underwing hardpoints can carry items such as the M35 kit 
with a six-barrel, 20-millimeter cannon, plus 1,000 rounds of ammunition. This provides greater standoff attack range, as does the use of a new chin turret with a three-barrel, 20-millimeter cannon, or even a 30-millimeter cannon, in place of the original type fitted with a 7.62-millimeter minigun and a 40-millimeter grenade launcher. In the area attack role, the Huey Cobra's most important weapon is the 2.75-inch rocket, and a full complement of these devastating high-velocity weapons has the same effect as a 38-gun howitzer barrage.